Hey everyone, this is Steph from Old Guy Melts Plastic. So today we're looking at the AnchorMake M5 and uh, we printed off a long print, uh, it was 34 hours. We used about 502 grams of filament and what we printed today is this bear skull dice tower. Um, so you drop the dice in the top here and they come out the bottom. Uh, we printed this using tree supports. And so tree supports are um, more a more efficient way of supporting the model. And you can see that there's a lot of support structure through here that we're just going to peel away and remove. They should remove pretty easily. And leave us with our, our finished model um, that hopefully won't have too many uh, problems. So it's looking good from here. Uh, this is a fairly large print as you can see. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna take it off the bed and start peeling away some of the models. So let's just take the whole bed off. Oh, it's just gonna pop right off, just like that. All right, well, that's good. And thankfully, this is all just support structure. So that's all just waste material anyway. Um, you know, I try not to waste too much. Um, tree supports do use less plastic than the default support options. Um, but uh, there is still some wastage involved. But in order to get a print like this, um, Sometimes you need to have those supports in place. So let's start peeling away some of this stuff. And I'm gonna try to do this one-handed while I hold the camera in my other hand. Um, you know what, you see what I'm doing here. I'm just peeling away the support structure. So what I'm gonna do is pause here. I'm going to peel away all the supports and then I'll be right back. All right. So we've removed all of the support structure, and uh, as you see, most of it came off in one big piece. Um, it was a little bit of effort. I had to do a little bit of trimming near the top, but it mostly came away rather easily. And let's look at the finished model. Um, as I get said, this is a bit of a big boy. Um, this model is extremely detailed, and in order to um, capture all of the texture and the layers. I wanted to make sure that I didn't, um, you know, I maximized my um, vertical resolution as much as possible. So I sliced this with a 0.1 millimeter layer height. Um, in most 3D printing projects, the default slicing layer, or, you know, vertical layer is 0.2 millimeter layer heights. Um, but for this, to get all the you know, bumps and ridges in the bone. I sliced it at a higher or a thinner layer height. So here we can see down the nose of the uh, skull. And uh, like I said, this is a dice tower. So the idea is you drop the dice down the nose, they roll and then come out the bottom in the jaw. Um, and yeah, the quality is pretty fantastic so very happy with how that turned out um, so and this was uh, let's see what we say 34 hours and 17 minutes to print and 502 grams of plastic um, compared to the default supports that's less plastic and uh, it's about 150 grams I believe or maybe 180 grams less plastic uh, than the standard supports and also it's about uh, nine hours less than the standard support. When I sliced it originally um, it was going to take over 44 hours I think. So uh, yeah, pretty happy with how this turned out. So look into tree supports in the Anchor Make Slicer software if you're going to print something with a lot of sharp overhangs. and. 
little bit of support material still to peel away here through here and here but I'll do that now and uh, yeah this this prints ready to go thanks for watching and have a great day